Good evening, I'm Vincent Price. I'm going to be your host for this evening. The Halloween season has always been a particular favorite of mine because, well, because terror is so exhilarating. Did you know that Halloween is one of the oldest holidays? More than 2,000 years ago, Celtic priests held ceremonies to honor Samhain, the Prince of Darkness and Lord of the Dead. They believed he released the souls of the dead to return to Earth on the night of October 31st. Later, people celebrated All Saints Day on November 1st, and October 31st became known as All Hallow Even, and today, Halloween. It was said that music would drive evil spirits and demons away. Tonight, we may learn how effective music can be in combating evil forces. The air resounds with tuneful notes from myriads of straining throats, all hailing Folly Queen. So join the swelling chorus throng, forget your sorrow and your wrong in one glad hour of joyous song to honor Halloween. From the number one midnight movie box office sensation, the Rocky Horror Picture Show comes Time Warp. Stay tuned. Vincent Price and the Halloween Thriller will return after these messages. Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho is considered to be one of the greatest horror films of all time. Being stalked by an unseen presence is for many the ultimate fear. The fear becomes reality in Rockwell's Somebody's Watching Me. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I have the privilege of introducing you to the master illusionist, Mr. Ab Dixon. Among his many accomplishments, Mr. Dixon has worked closely with such notables as Orson Welles and with Gary Coleman, the star of Different Strokes. He is one of the secret six and has been recognized worldwide as one of the top professionals in the world of illusion. In ancient times, it was believed that the events of the future could be foretold by watching how people died while being burned alive. Tonight we shall watch while Mr. Ab Dixon performs a cremation right here on this stage. And perhaps we will learn what the future may bring. Sheena Easton and Greg Ken. Stay tuned. Surrounded by monsters, our heroine sings her song of woe. From her hit record, Telephone, here is Sheena Easton. At one time, people believed that the Lord of Darkness had a particular fondness for the souls of young brides. When the ring was placed on her finger, the girl became a demon. Impossible? Hmm. Watch Greg Kinn's Jeopardy and see. Stay tuned. Vincent Price and the Halloween Thriller will return after these messages. Thank <laughs> you. 
In a video featuring the Phantom of the Opera, Frankenstein, and other assorted ghouls, here is a popular British recording artist, Yaz, with Don't Go. Dracula's classic love scenes with an interesting twist in the story, a Halloween love story, as it were, are seen here in Eddie Money's Think I'm in Love. Stay tuned. Vincent Price and the Halloween Thriller will return after these messages. Today's most talented young performers is, of course, Michael Jackson. Naturally, it was suggested that the title track from the Thriller album be next, but it is enough to make one's blood run cold. <laughs> yes, even mine. Here's the first hit from the Thriller album, Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. Classic horror tales have inspired many of today's recording artists. Some of these creative individuals interpret the legends in a different way, and the result is rather unique. Watch and see what I mean. More with Ab Dixon and Ray Parker Jr. after these messages. Imagine for a moment tonight you were sleeping ever so peacefully in your bed and then for some unknown reason you suddenly open your eyes and discover that you are lying beneath a canopy of large metal spikes. You hear a strange noise and then the canopy begins to fall. Unbelievable. Watch now while Mr. Ab Dixon demonstrates exactly how it is done in The Table of Death. One of the year's most supernaturally successful films was Ghostbusters, starring Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray. Singing the title song from the movie, here's Ray Parker Jr. Stay tuned. Vincent Price and the Halloween Thriller will return after these messages.